Nitin, it's been uh, an exciting morning, even though it's been raining heavily in the national capital. But considering India and the national capital are playing host to the G20 summit, uh, despite the rain, there has been no dampener to the spirits of all those world leaders who have turned up in full force at the G20 summit. And so uh, one of them made it a point to keep up with the schedule and visit the Akshardham temple. And I'm talking about the UK Prime Minister. Mr. Rishi Sunak, who's always taken pride in his Indian roots. Also, not to forget, uh, just a day ago, he also requested Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to arrange for a visit to a Mandir. He said that he wanted to see a Mandir, and so it was done. He's visited the Akshar Dham Temple. We are bringing to you the first images of UK's Prime Minister uh, from Akshar Dham Temple. In fact, as you can see, he's standing there with folded hands, uh, accompanied by the priest the Hindu priests three on his left and three on the right side he's all we can also see uh, he's been welcomed with a garland over there and a very wet uh, Akshardham temple over there rain trying to play a spoil sport but uh, it's of course failed to play a spoil sport because Rishi Sunak very much managed to make it to the temple amid heavy rains which have been lashing Delhi since yesterday but that doesn't seem to have uh, dampened the spirits of either the summit or the plans of the world leaders because remember Remember, the world leaders have also made uh, have paid a visit to the uh, to the Rajkhat and paid a tribute to the Mahatma as well. And before they did that, uh, UK's Prime Minister paid a visit to Akshar Dham Temple. Important to also talk about how deeply symbolic this image is. Remember, because as I was mentioning earlier, uh, Rishi Sunak, as someone uh, with roots in India, has always taken pride in those Indian roots. Not just that, he's also spoken about how a devout Hindu he is in a, a, a sort, in fact, that uh, he gave to the media. He's also talked about how he missed the celebrations of uh, Janmashtami with full gusto and that this visit meant a lot to him uh, considering Rakhi was recently celebrated as well in India. And he speaks about that, not to forget Akshara Murthy, uh, how her lineage comes from India and the role that her own parents have played uh, in, in, in bringing India to the forefront. I'm also joined by our political editor Pallavi Ghosh who's joining me live right now. Pallavi, uh, quite a monumental picture over there. Uh, the first image of course of Rishi Sunak accompanied by the seers at Akshardham Temple. There's another image where we see uh, Akshara Murthy's uh, wife accompanying him as well. I can see she's clad in a salwar kameez. Both seem uh, pretty thrilled about their visit to the temple. And in fact, in private, Rishi Sunak always makes the point that, it, and jokingly too, and in fact, this is what we are told, he very much said this at the G20 summit yesterday uh, when he was meeting the Indian delegations also saying that, you know, I'm also called the son-in-law of India. See, flaunting his Indian roots, his connect with India is something which he has never been apologetic about. He's been very proud of that. And if you remember recently uh, when Murari Babu had attended, uh, had gone to UK, uh, Rishi Sunak was very much there at that event. And he, in fact, he had said, I'm a devout Hindu. I believe in the Hindu traditions as well. So Hinduism, Hindutva, that's something which Rishi Sunak has always uh, kind of flaunted, which is something which he's uh, always been something which he's very proud about. Uh, well, the, the addition of Akshar Dham into his itinerary was kind of uh, very much uh, what he wanted. I mean, you know, I remember when he was leaving from London for India, uh, he had made his point that he would want to squeeze some time out to visit an Indian temple. And therefore he did that. Early this morning, before he reached, reached Rajghat, he was accompanied by his wife uh, and he went to Akshar Dham and their latest pictures, as you pointed out, Akanksha, are just out. So this is going to have very deep uh, impact, certainly for us, uh, but then also back home in UK. Substantial amount of Indian population, the, uh, the Swami Narayan, population over there, the bugs and the devotees over there and there's a reason behind it why politically speaking apart from his personal space that he does want to flaunt and display his Hindu credentials, his love for India, his love for Hinduism and making the point that I'm proud to be a Hindu as well. Absolutely, Pallavi, when we talk about making that point, uh, how sig how crucial is it going to be for Rishi Sunak uh, under, give, you know, given the current 
political climate of UK. Remember, UK is also headed to elections very soon. Uh, what will this mean for Rishi Sunak, who, you know, has to toe a very fine balance uh, between preserving uh, preserving his own hin uh, Hindu roots and also displaying himself that he's not, you know, as Indian as people of uh, Britain may assume him to be? So when he became the Prime Minister on UK in somewhat turbulent times, there was also this question asked that would he be even acceptable to the people of UK? And I think that is going to be put to test whenever those elections are going to be coming up. Uh, he also became the Prime Minister in very turbulent times in sense of an economic downturn, which UK has been facing as much of the developed world has been facing, which is why these visits to India, interaction with India, his connection with India becomes very important because he would also want to have deep-rooted trade as well as economic time with his home country. But over there, he uh, very clearly has to send out this, uh, his vote bank. I mean, I think if he decides to run in, uh, he would certainly want to capitalize and tap a large number of Indian population over there and to make the point that, you know, I can be acceptable mm -hmm. to both the ways, to the Brits, of course, and of course to the Indian population over there, and I should not be seen as a contradiction. I think that explains why it's a concerted strategy on the part of Rishi Sunak to ensure that, you know, he is uh, projects himself as a Hindu leader, as someone who's proud of his Indian as well as Hindu roots. Absolutely. Abhishek, if I could uh, bring you in on this aspect, something, uh, because whenever it comes to, you know, being a shrewd negotiator, he can be that, something that he's also displayed uh, when the FTA negotiations were taking place. All right. All right, we'll try and uh, take that question from Siddhant, who continues to stay with us. Uh, Siddhant, um, as I was talking, you know, it's been a, a matter of fine balance, something uh, when it, that and that quality can be seen when we talk about Rishi Sunak being a shrewd negotiator. Well, yes, uh, that's right. And he, he knows his priority uh, very well. He also understands that uh, that India is very important uh, for not just uh, UK, but whole of Europe. And this is a reason since him becoming, uh, be, uh, becoming the Prime Minister, or perhaps even before uh, that, Boris Johnson was also quite optimistic and was someone who wanted to do a lot of things with uh, India and wants to uh, work for the betterment of India-UK relationship. But since uh, uh, we're talking about Rishi Sunak, so as I, I did mention uh, uh, last time, Akanksha, that how, uh, you know, Rishi Sunak took position completely uh, different uh, uh, from, uh, from, from uh, the position which other colleagues of uh, his in government took at the time of BBC documentary, then at the time of raids uh, uh, on, on mm. BBC office, that point in time also Rishi Sunak completely distanced himself from all of the controversy. So he's not just a, a, a politician but also a statesman and he also uh, realizes the importance of India and he also realizes that already uh, there has been lot of uh, uh, lot of disturbance when it comes to the relationship relationship between the two countries is uh, due to the issue of separate uh, uh, due to the Khalistani issue and also Kanksha interestingly you know the this UK has announced and perhaps pledged 95,000 pounds uh, to to uh, to to fight the extremism on on the on the soil of United Kingdom so a lot is right. being done uh, uh, by 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 Rishi Sunak and he's quite optimistic and he is someone who is uh, you know trying a lot to work to build a better relationship and also uh, especially the focus is on this FTA if if this gets done then there would be something for Rishi Sunak to to you know, perhaps uh, uh, you know make uh, right. tell his people uh, during the uh, during the domestic elections back to you